Hey guys, welcome to the new video and in this video we are going to create the blockchain network but this time with the Istio and DNS records. So the commands that I am going to use in this video are pretty much same what we have seen so far in all those lectures. But this time we will do it with Istio uh, by enabling some flags and those flags I will make you walk through them but rest of the commands are going to be same. So let's verify if the ping is working to our uh, domain name so this is working fine and now we are good to go let me first set up my environment variable which is the domain and here i'm going to specify my base domain so the base is hlf dot hlf hyphen blockchain dot tk blockchain dot tk this is the base domain and after that all of my ca or uh, peer they all are going to use uh, this domain name in order to create the uh, components. So let me put up the command uh, to create the CAs. And this is going to create the three CAs. So first is for the org one, then, the, then we have the org to C and then we have the order CA. So let me hit enter. And the command that you are going to see here, this is uh, exactly same. Okay, so I'm getting the error. So I need to install the operator first. So let me quickly install the operator. So if I go to HLF operator and if I do helm install HLF operator, this is going to install the operator. So let's wait. Yeah, so the operator is installed. Let's move to our directory, which is uh, this one. And now let's run the command again in to create the CA. So this is the command that is going to create the CA and the only difference that we have in this uh, command is that we are adding the hosts. If you see here, we are adding the hosts and then we are specifying the ingress gateway as ingress gateway and then we are specifying the Istio port as well 443 and rest of the things are same. And if you remember uh, that the host uh, property here that, that this is coming equal to org1-ca dot uh, your domain name so this this so in my case this will be equivalent to org1 hyphen ca dot hlf blockchain dot tk and that is why we added the dns settings like we added the subdomains in our dns records so let's hit enter let's wait for it to get created okay i need to create the namespace as well let me create the namespace so i've created the namespace let me put run the command again so yeah so our cs got created successfully Let's wait uh, for them to uh, up and running. Let me open the lens ID here. And if I change this name to fabric, we can see uh, we have to wait. So I will uh, make this video a bit fast forward I'm, because most of the commands are going to be same. So wherever I feel that there is a difference in the command that we have learned so far, only those part is what I'm going to focus on in this video. Yes, so our uh, CS got created and now let's quickly register the PR identities. So this command is exactly same uh, that we have seen so far in previous lectures. So let me hit enter. So here basically we are registering the peer, uh, peer entities. Now uh, this is done. Now it's time to create the peers. So let me put up the command here. And if you see, so this command is exactly same what we have seen so far. The only difference is on this part. Uh, let me highlight this. So this part is going to be get changed. And here we are specifying our host, which is org one hyphen peer one dot your domain name. Then here we are specifying the ingress gateway, and then we are specifying the Istio port. So rest of the part is same. So our peers got created. Let's verify in the lens ID. So our peers are up and running. Now let's quickly create the admin certificate for these organization. So let me put up the command here. So this is the same command that we have run in the previous lectures as well. And now let's do this for the Octo as well. 
so this time we are generating the admin certificate but for the octo let me clear up this and now we can generate the connection profile so we should have one connection profile which is network config here if i do ls hyphen array we can see that this is the network config that just uh, got generated right now now let's add the user to our connection profile so this is also done now let me clear up this and now so now let's register the orderer let me run the command so this is also the same command that we have seen in the previous videos and now let's create the orderer so here uh, if you see so only this part is going to be added in this command but rest of the command is same that we have seen in the previous lectures so here you can see that host property got added and then we have the sto ingress gateway we are specifying the value as ingress gateway and the port is 443 and this is what we have added in the our dns settings as well so if you remember one of the for the order if you remember for the order uh, we had added the record as odd hyphen node one dot hlf hyphen blockchain dot tk so let me run this command and this is going to create an ordering node let's go to lens id and verify this as well so our order is also up so now we can register the order admin let me open the terminal so we are registering the order admin and then we are let me run the command again yeah so it worked now let me clear up this and now let's add the order admin to the order config file so let me run the command so this command is exactly same uh, what we have learned so far and now the rest of the commands are also going to be same uh, as is like we have covered so far so let me run all these commands quickly so we are again generating the network config then let's create a channel so we are going to create a channel with name as my channel so the channel got created now let's make the order to join the channel this command is exactly same and now let's make the peers join the channel so let me clear up this let's run the command so peers are going to join the channel this time okay uh, we have to do one more thing we have to add the users so let me just run this command this is going to add the users now let's run the join command yeah so the channel is going to join by uh, these peers so the channel is joined let me now clear this and now let's add the anchor peer so this is the command to add the anchor peers so our org1 peer1 and org2 peer1 is going to join as anchor peer yeah so both the peers has joined the channel as anchor peer and now we can install the chain code so this process is going to be uh, time consuming but the process is exactly same what we have seen in the previous video where we uh, learned about the chain code part let me run this so basically we here we are installing the chain code uh, this is the same chain code that we installed in the previous videos as well and the language is golang and the name of the chain code is fabcar and uh, admin user is going to install the chain code and this is the peer over which uh, this chain code is going to be installed so i am installing the chain code in all the four peers so i'll pause the video here and uh, i will continue once the chain code install process is finished Yeah, so the chain code got installed successfully and now we can do the chain code approval so let's 
uh, export the package ID here. Let's get the package ID and set it as an environment variable. So this is the package ID. And now we can simply approve the chain code. So let me put up the command. So this command is exactly same what we have learned in the previous videos. So approve for my org, then connection profile, then user and the peer uh, who is going to approve this transaction. And then we have version and the sequence number. So it got approved by first organization. Yeah, and it got approved by the second organization as well. Now let's commit the chain code. So this is also the same command uh, that we have seen in the chain code video. Yeah, so it got committed successfully. And now we can query and invoke the chain code. So let me clear up this. And now let's first query the chain, invoke the chain code. So here uh, I'm passing the chain code name, then the channel and then the function. Uh, so in my chain code, I have a function with name create car. And then these are the arguments. So it takes five argument. The first one is I think the serial number, then this is the make. Uh, then this is the model, this is the color and this is the owner. So I'm passing all the five values. Let's see if this works or not. Yeah, so we got the transaction ID and let's uh, do the query as well. So let's query the chain code. And here uh, I'm passing the function as query all cards. And then I will pipe the response to the JQ so that I can see in a better uh, way because it runs the JSON. Yeah, so we can see we got the response. This is one of the record that we just created. Uh, let's try to create one more record. And this time I'm going to pass the ID as 200. Yeah, so it got committed and uh, let's query it. Yeah, so the query part is also working fine. So before closing this video, I want to show you one more thing uh, that is the network config and uh, what change uh, we have in the network config when we are using Istio and when we are not using the Istio. So if I do cat of network config, uh, you should be able to see that this time we have the complete uh, domain names instead of the IP. So if you remember uh, when we were not using this Istio, we were having the IP addresses and with their node port, but this time we have the complete DNS name. So this was pretty much it for this video. Hope you like this video. And if you did like this video, then you already know the drill. Please like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.